Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Lego Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, increasing triplet subsequence. I'm just checking for extra points in case you're wondering what I'm doing. You could watch my video from yesterday where I did get the 10 extra coins, so it's always nice. Anyway, <clears throat> let's look at this poem. Given in the way nums return true of this exists, IJK, such that I said, okay, so, um, yeah, I guess that's the name is pretty fitting, triple, triplet subsequence. Um, and this is subsequence, not subarray. I, I, I'm saying it more to me, myself than to you at home, uh, cause I feel like I, I, I misread that like every other time. I don't know how, but, uh, okay. So, and in this case it's a binary thing, right? So we don't, we don't have to worry about counting. Um, yeah, and I think you can do this very quickly by, by almost like a dynamic programming thing, right? Meaning, uh, like if you have an increasing, you know, like subsequence in general, like max sub subsequence, I think maybe that experience teach me how to do this in a quicker way or a, a more, more uh, a easier way. Maybe there's a harder way, but I don't know because I'm kind of skipping that ahead because I am familiar with um, longest increasing subsequence, right? And the idea here is that, okay, what is the longest subsequence uh, the subsequence in which um which it, of uh, increasing let me, subsequence of length one right and then of course you do it for link two and then link three i mean link three if it exists then you already return true so you don't actually technically need it so we could remove that and then that's pretty much it right so we, we want to see okay is there an increasing subsequence of link one is there an increasing subsequence of link two and then use that to build on and of course in the same way that you do it, um in the generic longest increasing subsequence what you want to do is just greedy right what i mean by greedy is that okay let's say you have two if, let's say you have the same index going from left to right, you have the same index, and you have a length one subsequence. What what does greedy mean by that? That way, greedy means that it is the smallest number because if the smaller number that you can have, the you know you can only give you better results later down the line. That's the part that greedy works, right? Meaning that. Okay, let's say, I mean, this is only length one, so it's a little bit awkward to say, but let's say you have two subsequence, one one with length two, uh, one ending with two and one ending with five. Of course, you want the one with two because that means that later on, if we get a three and a four, you know, we can we can have a subsequence of length two, which you cannot for length for the last number is five. Okay, so I think I'm talking a lot about a lot. Let me know what you think. Um, but that's the way I would do it. So I would say maybe S1 is equal to, let's say, infinity. S2 is equal to infinity, right? Infinity is... Infinity. I, I used this infinity as a mod during the contest. That cost me five minutes. I've been very silly lately, as as uh, my longtime viewers know. Hopefully, uh, you know, people didn't suffer that much. But I feel very sad about it. Not that sad, but yeah. But for X is equal to nums, we go, okay, we just do it one at a time, right? We go, mm, if x is greater than s2 then we return true right that means that there's um, a sequence of length two we add x to it make it length three we can return true and also at the, at the very end we return false by the same logic okay if x is greater than s1 that means that now there's a um, there's a length two right so you go to min of x s2 right meaning that now we can construct an increasing subsequence of length two with either the x as the last element or the previous two. So yeah. Uh, and then lastly, s1 is equal to min of x s1. That's pretty much it. And this is basically the same logic is that you can obviously always create um, a subsequence of length one. So yeah, uh, this looks good. Mm, do I fail any edge cases with, I don't think negative number matters well infinity is big enough that it shouldn't matter um and what else am i doing length one i, I don't link one should matter because or link one should not be a special case in this code just because this would never be true uh but let's let's actually add a couple of cases for that reason uh because you know so length one length two 
and length three. Right. Give it a spin. Yeah. I mean, the code looks okay, but you know, that's the point of testing, right? Is that you never know and stuff like this. Uh, apparently, I did it last year, but uh, cool. 924 day streak. This is going to be linear time, constant space. And of course, um, that is the follow up. I actually just took a peek because I looked at the constraint. But I didn't really look at the constraint until just now because if you look at this code, uh, if nums are bigger than maybe you could overflow int or whatever, or in infinity or whatever. But <clears throat> otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, the concept here is um, it's actually good to understand because this leads to, I mean, well, it's okay to understand. I don't know if it's that useful, but it does lead to the binary search a solution to the longest increasing subsequence once you kind of write this out because if you want to write it out then you have like a, a k length thing and then you have a k times n solution but then you can actually go a little bit better as a result um cool <clears throat> that's all i have with this one so let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye